the umpire Chris Taylor telling Mindan to stay on court. Having saved a match point. Match point. Oh, 14 and 13. Now Lindan has a match point of his own. His first match point after an hour and 35 minutes. Both players acknowledging the crowd. Well, who would have predicted that? The final rally went on and on, and the fitness in the end, Lee Chong Wei almost at a walk and just couldn't push himself to get across court and retrieve the final block, which was played to perfection from Lin Dan. Wonderful celebrations. Confirmation of the score, 15-9. 10 15, 17 14, and he's through to his third final. One of the most remarkable matches you're ever likely to see on a badminton court. The world number one, Lin Dan, eventually overcoming Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia. 17 14 in the deciding game. It first went one way, then the other, and finished with Dan celebrating like is rarely seen on a court at the NIA in Birmingham but it's an indication of just what it means to make the final of the men's singles for the third time Lin Dan hoping to pick up his second title won it back in 2004 and this final rally yeah! is an indication of how the whole match was played quite remarkable win for Lin Dan in the end and uh, uh, Joe Davis and Simon Archer are watching the studio with enthralled as I'm sure you were at home. Uh, Simon, you can be forgiven. You got the wrong <laughs> man. The prediction was wrong, but yeah. what an incredible match. Yeah, my prediction wrong. Um, I thought Lee Chong Wei was going to win it, and, he, and in that third game, he looked like he was going to, but uh, he obviously just didn't fancy it at the end. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, one of the best matches I've ever seen. Um, yeah, that really will be remembered uh, for one of the matches of this tournament as well. It, it did. Superb. 
turned several times, didn't it, Joan? It looked at, at one stage as if, if, if Lindown was just going to run away with it. Well, yeah, winning the first game so easily and then 8-2 up in the second end and almost nonchalant in how he played, really. Um, such skill and and he was just hitting the angles and hitting the line so perfectly and just making Lee Chong Wei look a little bit ordinary. He's just so quick, quickly onto retrieving that shot. You see, he's just on his base the whole, the whole time. Let's the court like a postage stamp sometimes, the way he covers it. But he's always retrieving the shot and one of his main assets is his cross-court drop, you see here, and then like just waiting. I mean, Lee Chong Wei is so deceptive, but he just stood at the net and waited for that. And, it also illustrates, the, the, I guess, the, the, the vision, as we suggest, of, of the top players. Yeah, I think Lin Dan, at the, at the start of this match, he was reading the game so well, he knew exactly what Lee Chong Wei was going was to do, knew where he was going to hit the shot, and, and he moved be almost before Lee Chong Wei had hit the shot. And uh, as you saw in that last rally, he, you know, he even waited at the net for one of them and, and gave his opponent <laughs> a stare afterwards and uh, almost a little bit too arrogant because that's when the match just started to turn as well. It had everything and uh, so I'm not, I, I, I know that these shuttlecocks are hit at 150 miles an hour sometimes off the racket, uh, but it's also a game of touch, isn't it? And there's a couple of examples of, of some incredible soft hands. Yeah, these guys have got everything, skill, power. I mean, you can see Lindan missing that one, but... The, the touch at the net here by Lee Chong Wei, twice you've seen get a tumble net shot back and return it himself with, a, with another tight net shot and uh, that skill level really is only done by the sort of top four or five players in the world. And it went down to the wire, Joe, and, and, and what, what a finish. It looks as if Lee Chong Wei would, had done enough in, in the final game, but Lin Dan just refused to, to be beaten and, and quite inspirational at the end. Exactly. I think Lee Chong Wei got a little bit tight in, towards the end as well. And uh, he just, Lin Dan just seemed to just find something within himself to go up that gear. I think there was a little bit of needle in the match, obviously, with uh, Lee Chong Wei, you know, um, telling the umpire about Lin Dan messing about with the shuttles. And I think uh, Lin Dan really didn't want him to win. You can see it meant everything to him, as you can see, and look at the retrieval on this. It's absolutely fantastic. Lindan just, as I said before, covers the court so well. I think that was a big turning point, obviously, in the, in the setting there, because I think Lee Chung Wei thought he was going to win that point mm. when, he, yeah. when he picked off the, the knockoff at the net. And, uh, but Lindan, that's why he's world number one. He never gave up in that match, and uh, he came back, and you know, he just, just showed why he's world number one. And still the man to beat uh, tomorrow on finals day. He's up against uh, Lee Hyun Il, who beat Peter Gaeda a little bit earlier on. Also earlier on today, on courts, Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems, the defending champions, were up against the world champions in the form of uh, Nova Widianto and Lilian Natsius. Uh, went well in the uh, first game, Nathan and Gail winning it to 15-10. Uh, we pick it up at uh, Nathan and Gail being 7-4 up in the second. Here's what happened.